today at this variable anchorage I'm taking our water pump apart again try to find out why the seal is not holding the seawater back from leaking into the bearings that's the seal here it's got a steel ring on the outside that press fits and that's a rubber seal here the sea water is leaking through it all right found our problem this is the shaft inside there's the seal just a tiny little piece of rubber with a steel ring that keeps the seawater out and some kind of debris got in there you see that line on the shaft that's a little v groove a piece of sand or something got in there and where this rubs on the rubber seal it wore a very fine groove in the shaft this is our other shaft exact same problem this is the and this one's a much bigger groove so if you ever taken these apart make sure you turn your bolt counterclockwise on your pulley to get it off because your engine turns clockwise so this bolt comes off counterclockwise so it doesn't loosen itself easily the threads are not awesome on either one of these but this one is the lesser of the two evils Let's see if I can polish this shaft a bit and then maybe fill that with some JB Weld and then polish it again. See if I can fill that groove in. See, that will get us to the Dominican Republic. So fixing the water pump was not really a viable fix. I put it all, clean it all up i reseeded the seal back about two more millimeters thinking that that would be some fresh metal to seal on and put it all back together greased it very carefully did everything and it's still slowly dripping under the weeping holes so i'm thinking that that rubber seal might actually have a defect in it or it's leaking from the outside of the rubber seal and i can't remove that rubber seal without damaging it because it has a steel ring that presses press fits into the actual water pump so i can't risk taking that off and thinking that i can reuse it um, i do have a replacement for it but I, that's my last resort so since it's still just a low leak very little leak the water coming out is not getting to the bearings it's coming out the weeping holes before it gets to the bearings so um i put it back together and it works basically just the same but um, i know now at least that the bearings are still in good shape the salt water does not seem to be reaching the bearings it's coming out that weeping hole so we should be able to get to loop run no problem uh, we've got about 180 miles to go to get to East Caicos or by Turks and then from there it's I think about 60 more miles down to the Dominican Republic. Unfortunately we have to run the motor for a lot of that so down to the DR we can sail it for sure but getting to Turks is just beaten into the wind. Um, we're gonna leave here tomorrow afternoon, gonna sail overnight to get to Turks in daylight, We're gonna sail through the Turks banks during the daylight so that we can watch for reefs. And then if the weather's, if the conditions are right, we'll just head south right from there. Or if we need to rest up, we'll do that probably at Big Sand K and then leave in the evening to get to the DR in a daylight so that we can watch our way in there and so that we're not uh, rather not be in that passage during the daytime because the winds can really howl there so for now we're gonna go do a little swimming on the beach some snorkeling and get off this boat for a little bit because it's very rolly and I actually I actually feel more seasick at anchor than I ever do at sea I have never felt seasick at sea, and this is the second time I felt seasick just being at anchor. When you're trying to do things down below and the boat is just constantly rocking back and forth, it's, you know, after 10, 12, 14 hours of that, <clears throat> you start to feel a little oozy. So yeah, let's go do something fun. People, look at these waters. It is so clear. So join us for some activities uh, in these beautiful waters. See, that's calm. Wow. That's a lot of 
Auto Garage. After a long walk around the island, we decided to go snorkeling and you shouldn't miss it. It's right by the anchorage and it's beautiful. Hello everyone, we hope you enjoyed the snorkeling as much as we did. It is a beautiful reef, it's very close from the shore and uh, wow, I can't believe how close it is from the beach. It's nice, there's lots of like caves, if I was a better diver I could swim through them but practice. We need it's some beautiful. practice, but it's, oh, look at the water people. And the coral heads right there so thank you so much for watching this video next week there is more amazing videos we're sailing tomorrow out of here probably we're gonna stop at Turk and Caicos let's hope it's a beautiful sail uh, keep tuning thank you so much for watching bye now we have to paddle out here because there is reef everywhere and this is like the side right there, the beach. So we're leaving the Bahamas tomorrow, but we've already checked out. But left the leg up so we get no trouble because we had to make a few stops. That, the flag's not even destroyed. Not like the Canadian flag that we buy. I know, that's a good quality one. The Canadian flags always fall apart on us. Look around, here we come.